I'd do anything for art, but... Do not move! <gasps> but sitting motionless for two hours is too much. <laughs> Sue, I'm sorry, but art demands sacrifices. Ugh, enough, Sammy. I can't stand it anymore. Did something happen? Yes, it did. Oh, my arm's asleep. <sighs> I feel uncomfortable. Ugh, I mean, I'm aching all over after posing. Don't you want the world to see my masterpiece? It's very cruel to behave this way to innocent people. Oh, why is this sofa so itchy? Ouch! What is this doll doing here? Sammy, what if she poses for you instead of me? Sue, how can I put this? She's kind of not in the best shape after our last craft. <gasps> oh, wait! I know how to fix this. What a delicate work. Do you want to draw her? Of course, but who is she? That is the statue of Aphrodite, the ancient Greek goddess. To make our doll look like a goddess, we need to do some magic. By the way, Aphrodite is the goddess of love. This statue is so beautiful. Yes, Sammy, and this is for a reason. Because she's also the goddess of beauty. Love and beauty. It's a perfect combination. I'd like to meet her. Guys, give a thumbs up if you'd like to be friends with the wonderful Aphrodite. Sammy, there's actually one tiny problem. What problem? She's a goddess. This means she lives on Olympus. So what? I don't think you can meet her. Why is that, Susie? Well, only the gods live up there, you know? How am I not a god? You're a slime, Sammy. But Sue... I am a special slime. Isn't it obvious? Yeah... Very much. <laughs> That's it. When I studied at our God's Academy. God's Academy? Yep, why are you asking? <sighs> Guys, hit the bell not to miss new interesting stories from our Sammy. What do you mean by interesting stories? Anyway, I was an A student. Even if I had some little problems with lightning throwing discipline. Hmm, any reasons why? You know, I'm not the most accurate slime. Plus, I'm afraid of lightning bolts. Well, I'm not afraid of lightning bolts. I actually love them because they're so mysterious. Yeah, very mysterious. Its rumbling is so loud that I want to cover with a blanket and stay in bed. That happens to you every single morning. So what? I don't like to rush. Guys, give a thumbs up if you also like to slow down. Or if you're afraid of thunderstorms, just like Sammy. Ew. I'm just kidding, Sammy. <laughs> you should learn to laugh at yourself. Personally, I don't find this funny. And now? <laughs> I guess thunderstorms are not your only fear. So I think we need to make a normal hairstyle for the doll. Not just normal, but gorgeous. Let's get started. Who needs a trim here? Sammy, you know trimming is beneath the gods. Actually, we won't need scissors at all. Huh. Hair extensions? Hair gluing. Interesting. First, let's carefully twist a strand of hair. And then glue it. Yeah, Sue, you're a very particular hairdresser. But this way, her hairstyle won't get messed up during the day. Guys, give a thumbs up if you wouldn't like a hairdresser like Sue. <laughs> Sammy. Ugh, we're making an antique statue after all. It needs special treatment. See? Uh, Sue, your special treatment isn't working. There's still lots of hair sticking up. Are you a slime god or a slime stylist? Let me apply this mortar. We'll get a splendid hairstyle now. Huh, not bad. Oh, thank you, slime god Sammy. 
You're welcome. And now we need to... No, it's a disaster! What's the matter? The goddess Aphrodite has already been painted! Some Botticelli did it. I can't repeat it. Oh, calm down, Sammy. You're making your own Aphrodite, remember? But she's totally different. Oh, well, we actually are still in the process. Let's mix two paint colors. Are you making a liquid foundation for Aphrodite? Well, you could say that. <laughs> now we're going to apply it to our Aphrodite. You mean my Aphrodite. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. To your Aphrodite. I ask that you treat my statue with some respect. Sammy, I can't do anything. Beauty demands sacrifices. I don't remember you making sacrifices for art. Oh, is it okay that I was sitting motionless for two hours? Well, either you were posing badly. Or you were drawing slowly. I must say I lean towards the second version. Ahem, <clears throat> art does not allow rushing. Use a brush to work on the unfinished parts. Don't listen to her. You are perfection. Well, I think that nothing's perfect. But what about me? <laughs> Our imperfections make us special. I remember. I do have an imperfection. I'm too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> See? Here's your beautiful Aphrodite. Oh, I will draw her every single day. Hey, tough luck. Sammy, while you were admiring your Aphrodite, I prepared a present for you. Whoa! So what is it? Another Aphrodite? <laughs> Sammy, let's open it so you can see yourself. What could it be? An ice cream? Uh, or some candies? Let's see! Sammy, you're a twinkle toad. Here, let me help you. Ta-da! Now you can draw twice as much. Oh my, but so who is that? This ancient Greek statue is called Discobolus. Ah, he reminds me of someone. I'm ready to compete with him for the attention of my Aphrodite. Sammy, everyone knows you are the best. Thank you for your great compliments, Sue. I think our statues deserve to be exhibited at a museum. Sammy, I totally agree with you. Not to wait. Oh, my beautiful Aphrodite. You're just as gorgeous as I am. Yes, Sammy, you're great at making compliments. She's worthy of my great praise. Sam, enough drawing. What do you say? Let's go make another craft. So, can't you see I haven't finished my painting yet? Oh, my muse. The whole world will know how beautiful you are looking at my paintings. Actually, the whole world knows it already. What are you saying? <sighs> Guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you liked our Aphrodite the way Sam likes her. Oh, Aphrodite, you are so beautiful. Oh, actually, this is too much. Bye-bye. Hi guys! Today we're gonna make something really unusual! We'll make a copy of the most famous portrait in the world, the Mona Lisa! And I've already found a perfect reference! Thank you, Sammy! First of all, we need to sketch out the proportions for future drawings. Cause the Mona Lisa is a very proportional picture. Let's do it by hand. We'll start with the head and hair. 
So, do all people have the same face proportions? Um, not really, Sammy. All people have different features. I mean, the eyes, nose, and mouth. But there is no one as beautiful and perfect as me. <laughs> it's time to go in with the shadows and the highlights. Don't skip this part. Because it will help us to understand the proportions better. Correct proportions is like 90% of a perfect drawing. drawing? <laughs> Did you think this was ready? Of course it's not. We've just made the sketch so that the final result will be nice and clean. Now we're gonna transfer the main lines onto a new paper sheet. For this, we'll need a piece of sepia chalk stick. Where is it? Is this the brown one you're searching for? I owe you one, Sammy. It's all very simple. We just need to rub it all over the back of our drawing. What are we gonna use to draw our Mona Lisa picture? The oil paints like Da Vinci did? Or acrylic paints, which are much easier? <gasps> or maybe watercolor? Oh, did I forget to tell you? We need crayons. That'll be something new. Then I'd better go get a new pack for such a special occasion. I didn't know we have one. This slime has so many secrets. <laughs> In the meantime, let's place the drawing on top of the clean sheet and go over the outline. Try to do it very precisely and tightly so that the imprint becomes clearly visible on the paper. Like this. Okay, this is the moment, guys. Fingers crossed. I hope it worked. Ta-da! That's great! Give us a thumbs up, guys, if you like that simple and effective technique. If I'm still able to do magic tricks. <gasps> Sammy! You need to be careful with crayons. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. We'll start with the easiest part and the biggest spot on Mona Lisa's figure. Her hair. At first, we'll use the lighter colors, because that way we won't make any serious mistakes. And then... We'll add the darker colors. And all the colors will start to blend. Oh, it's gonna be so great! Hi! I heard people calling the painting Jokanda. I wonder why you tricked me, Susan. Uh, I didn't, Sammy. The thing is, the title of this painting comes from Giorgio Vasari's biography of Leonardo da Vinci in which he calls this lady Lisa Gherardini, the wife of a wealthy Florentine businessman, Francesco del Giocondo. Ah, uh, okay, I get it, but uh, what does Mona mean? Mona was a common Italian contraction of Madonna, meaning my lady or madame. Interesting. I see the hair is done and you need this for the face. You're absolutely right, Sammy. We get to the main and hardest part of our drawing. The technique is the same. We'll start with lighter colors. Try to work with the whole piece, guys. Not with the spots. And then add darker shadows. <laughs> you have a sharp eye, Sammy! Yes! She had her eyebrows shaved for real. Some people say that's because she followed the high fashion of the time, while others insist that the drawing is unfinished. <laughs> anyway, in 2007, the ultra-detailed digital scan revealed that her eyebrows had simply faded over time and years of restoration works. So many secrets! Such a mysterious work. Yes, Sammy, exactly. Still, nobody is sure who this lady was. 
There's a theory that it's a female representation of Leonardo da Vinci himself. Can you imagine that? <laughs> All of this is so interesting. All done, Sammy. Check it out. So it's really great, but uh, maybe we should paint her dress in the background? Of course. That'll be our next step. Okay, guys, let's work on her dress. Sammy, bring me the green crayon, please. Here you are. I know, lighter colors first. Thank you, Sammy, you're a great helper. I'm lucky to have you, who can draw so well. And you can make a copy of this great masterpiece. I'll hang it in our dining room with great pleasure. <laughs> You're not the only one who wants to have this drawing, Sammy. In 1911, the Mona Lisa was stolen from Paris's Louvre Museum. And you know who was under suspicion? Ha! Huh, uh, maybe the head of the Louvre? You've got the potential of a crime fiction author, but no. You guessed wrong. Well, don't keep us all waiting. Tell us the correct answer. It was Pablo Picasso. But everything was fine to him. After two years, they busted Vincenzo Perugia, trying to sell the Mona Lisa to a Florence art dealer. How do you like it, guys? <laughs> then give us a thumbs up. <laughs> now we can finally get to the background. We'll start with the sketch. But guys, don't work on it too much or it will steal the whole attention from the foreground. And it's time to color it up. We'll make the sky using a moss green crayon. Yes, Sammy, just a little bit left. Hey, Mr. Sharp Eye, have you ever noticed something over Mona Lisa's left shoulder? Well, I don't know. Usually my eyes are on Mona Lisa, not on the background. And that's the reason not many people notice this little bridge. It's called the Ponte Vecchio, and it used to be situated in the center of Bobbio, a little village in northern Italy. Unfortunately, in 1472, it was ruined by the Great Flood. Oh, I really like how it turned out. All we've got left to do is one tiny final thing with the face. That's why you asked to sharpen all the crayons? Yes, we need to be very precise at this point. We're gonna add more shadows, more highlights here and there, so that it becomes more like a Renaissance painting. We'll also go over this part again in order to blend all the colors more softly. All done! told me you can draw like Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Come on, you overestimate me and my skills. I think it'll take a lot of time, or even my whole life, to draw like the real master. But without false modesty, I do say the drawing is sure awesome. This work definitely deserves to be hanged in the Louvre. Oh, thank you, Sammy. If you like our drawing, guys, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see more incredible drawings! See you in the next videos!